As the children are moving downstairs, let's enter into a time of prayer and take part in our prayer of reconciliation, saying together, loving creator, may we be a united and uniting people seeking to celebrate God's presence, living with respect in creation, love and serve others, seek justice and resist evil. May we travel through the season of Lent and passion, nurturing us, sharing our goods for the good of all, resisting forces that exploit and marginalize, loving fiercely in the face of violence, defending the human dignity of all. May we be your church. Amen. Let us enter, enter into a time of prayer on this, the first Sunday of Lent. Following the prayer, we will sing the Lord's Prayer, and if you want to remain seated to do so, that would be fine. Let's pray. Holy One, your steadfast love surrounds us as a shepherd protects his sheep. You watch over us, you care for us, and gently lead us through the temptations to life-giving paths. We praise you and give thanks for all the ways we have felt your love and presence this week. Deliver us, God, when we are tempted to justify the oppression of others, to offer our neighbors stones instead of bread, defeatism instead of hope, or avert our attention away from people and places and situations that make us uncomfortable. Challenge us, God. Challenge the temptation of complacency and turn us to you, to your paths and your understandings. Good and gracious God, who loves and delights in all people, we stand in awe before you, knowing that the spark of life within each person on earth is the spark of your divine life. Differences among cultures and race are multicolored manifestations of that life. May our hearts and minds be open to celebrate similarities and differences among our sisters and brothers. Loving God, we seek your wisdom this day so that we can discern to how to faithfully respond to the verdict in the recent Col Colton Bushi and Gerald Stanley trial. Be with all of those affected by this very difficult reality. Help us to remain committed in Canada, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, and at St. Martin's to a society of mutual understanding, of common purpose, and of equality made strong by many diverse peoples. We seek your wisdom so that we can discern how to faithfully respond to the work of the truth and reconciliation with Indigenous and First Nations communities. We seek your wisdom so that we can discern how to faithfully respond to the story of a project in Uganda we're yet to hear. We seek your wisdom so that faithfully we can discern how to faithfully respond to the conflict in Israel and Palestine. God, wherever there is suffering in the world, wherever a person's human rights are not being met, wherever there is a systematic oppression and discrimination, we ask that you be particularly present and that you mobilize us to work toward justice-based solutions. And finally, God, we ask that you be with us in our community, in, in our community, with those that are experiencing challenges to their health and well-being. We remember today Elaine and Richard and Lucien and others. God of love and life, you have formed us in our mother's womb. You have created us in your image, and like a masterpiece, you have imprinted your sacred signature on our soul. As we start our Lenten journey, strengthen us to do your work in the world. May we live with profound awareness of your presence while we learn to radiate hope, peace, joy, and love this day and in the days to come. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus, singing together the prayer he taught us this morning. Mm -hmm. 